Rentech here, where tech is made simple. So, as I have been posting, this year's annual feature update for Windows 11 version 24H2 could get AR Explorer, which is an advanced co-pilot, which means um, artificial intelligence um, will be integrated further into the shell, explorer.exe, of the operating system in version 24H2. So that means components like your search start taskbar file explorer and so on will have ar integrated into the actual os in those different components now i'll leave that video if you want more info um, regarding ar explorer in the end screen and in regards to ar pcs i posted in january that windows ar pcs may need a minimum of 16 gigabytes of ram in the future and it seems now that this could be the case and this is according to findings by albacore over on x who's done a little bit of um, deep digging uh, in the Windows 11 build 26100, which is the 24H2 RTM release uh, to originally equipment manufacturers of Microsoft before 24H2 rolls out to the general public, as I have been posting. And Albacore has done a little bit of uh, deep digging and could have possibly uncovered the Explorer AI Explorer requirements um, that are needed to be able to run um, AI Explorer, which Microsoft is calling an ARPC. Now, if we just head over to those findings, now this looks like quite a mouthful, but if we, if we zoom in here quite a bit, we can see the important bits. And here we can see in the green. So the first requirement is an ARPC um, to be able to run AI Explorer, well, first of all, and could possibly include a processor architecture ARM64. So that means uh, it will need an ARM64 CPU. If we move a little bit down here, we can see RAM at least 16 gigabytes. So that could confirm, as I posted previously, that ARPCs uh, could uh, need a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM to be able to run what now Microsoft is calling AR Explorer. If we just navigate a little bit further down, here we get some of all Windows drive partition sizes at least 225 gigabytes. So basically that means um, a minimum of uh, a minimum storage requirement of 225 gigabytes of space. And then here we get checks for presence of Snapdragon X Elite a380 NPU. So basically that's the Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite Neural Processing Unit. And here's the RD yeah, in the brackets. So although this is not official confirmation uh, by Microsoft, this um, could possibly be what the so-called minimum system requirements for an AI PC uh, to be able to run AI Explorer. These could possibly be the minimum requirements. But the way I see it is this, is that if you don't have a so-called AR PC, um, you are going to get some of the AR functionality that will be rolling out with 24H2. If you do have a, a AR PC with a neural processing unit, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and what we've discussed in this video, then um, basically I would say then you would get all of the AR rolling out with 24H2 because as mentioned, um, AR Explorer is going to be rolling out with 24H2, which brings a lot more AR integration into the shell of the OS. So if you have an ARPC, you're going to get the full house. If you don't, I see it as you'll get some or most of the features. So that's how I see it. But nonetheless, just keeping you posted um, as we head towards this year's annual feature update, which should be rolling out in September, October, later this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.